All right, on this short video, I'm going to show you the advantages to the, the drag and drop feature. So we'll start a new project. Now you can select any hardware that you want and uh, the uh, type of device that you select is also irrelevant. So just go into the software and the biggest thing here is that you want uh, a split window. You want uh, basically more than one tab here. So you can see that I have base screen one open. I'm also going to open the main routine ladder logic. So that I have two unique tabs here. And to the right of this, you right click and say tile horizontally or tile vertically. I prefer the vertical option, but you could do either. So you can see that I have two windows open and I can see my ladder logic and my screen development at the same time. To show you how this kind of works, I'm going to create a new rung of logic, put a normally open contact in, I'm going to call this start. And uh, if you didn't know, we have the ability to program using symbol variables, where you can just type in a name, hit enter, and save it as a variable. And then um, you can use those names to configure I.O. or anything else later on. Once you have this start, we're going to create a output. And you can also right click and insert basic extraction and an out. And I'm going to call this one motor. Hit enter. And the ability here that makes this software really nice is you can click on the actual contact itself, drag this across, and start creating your screen parts. So I can uh, create like a start bit switch. And once you see that, you drag that across, it goes ahead and configures this switch for that particular address called start that I already created. And then you can configure, you know, how it looks or what kind of action that you want and that type of thing. But the ability of dragging from one to the other, it makes it really nice. And you can build screens really fast this way. So I'm going to go ahead and create a motor, drag this across, make it a lamp. And I'm going to go ahead and make a latching circuit. So you just kind of drag and drop. See how I made that little, you just literally drag from one side to the other. And if I wanted to, I could even um, click on this motor, drag it across, and then put in my normally open contact that way. So you can see the ability of either way, from ladder logic to screen, to screen from screen to ladder logic, um, and then let's let's go ahead and make a stop switch. Call this stop. Yes. And I'll insert another rung of logic. Insert rung. Let's put my uh, motor down here as a normally open contact, and then let's start a timer up. We'll insert a timer. Timer on. And we're just going to simply call this timer one. Hit enter. Yes. See that I've created a timer variable. You double click on this to actually tell it what kind of timer. I'm just going to make a simple 10 second timer. And same thing. Drag this contact across. And now I can start making my variables for my timer. So for my PT, which is your preset value, I can throw a data display on the page. Make it whatever size and shape I want. And then also my ET time, which is my running time. Throw a data display up there for that. Now I'm just going to keep these basic, some, you know, whatever the default is. You can make them look nicer later. The Q is the output. I'll put a lamp there that says when my uh, lamp gets, or my timer gets timing, it'll turn this lamp on. And let's go ahead and create a reset switch as a bit switch. So I can reset it if I want. Let's drag that there. Um, and then on the preset, we can actually come in here, timer1.pt, and say allow input. And that will give me the ability to actually change this 10 second timer to whatever I want. So as, as this runs, start, stop, motor, and a timer. Pretty simple. But you can see how I used that and I quickly created that page using the drag drop feature. If I simulate this now, you 
The other great thing about this software is that it lets you monitor your ladder logic at the same time as you configure, you know, play with your screen. So you really get to see how this works. So you can see my start stop logic down here. I can actually press the start button, turn it on, see how it runs, and you can see my ET time is counting up to 10, and then this should turn on at the end of 10 seconds. I can reset that, and it will go again for another 10 seconds. So, and now that I've put this in there, I should be able to change this to whatever value I want. Maybe I want a 30 second timer. And you see that it changes it to 30. Reset it again, and now we're going to start again and counting to 30. So, real slick software. You're able to drag drop. I mean, it took me, what, two minutes to create this? And uh, just using the drag drop feature. Um, so, in summary, again, make sure you have two tabs open. Right click, show it again, and tile vertically. So, I hope that helps. Um, you should be able to create some programs really quick on the fly. So, thanks. Have a good day.